So remember, this is a process of the Department of the Environment. It, it convenes these technical people uh, based on the legislation with, with legislative backing and say, we have this project, we need input from all of these technical expertise. I need to make a decision as a department. I need your, your technical experience, your, your support, your review of this process. Help me to make a decision. So based on what was established, they make a recommendation to the department. Now the department takes that information, reviews it further, um, and then looks at whether it endorses that decision and then it informs the developer. Have we ever seen in the past where a recommendation made by NIAC is um, not taken by the Department of Environment? It could, have, it could not be taken fully. Um, they could uh, amend, look at portions of that decision. Maybe they want to, to strengthen, to further review, to amend certain components of its recommendation. So yeah, it takes that into consideration fully. But that has never happened. It has. When it has. That, the DOE has said, which also you're the boss, um, the DOE has said, hey, I don't, yes, Niak, I understand the recommendation that you're making, but I disagree. Go ahead to that developer. As I've said, they, they can amend portions of that. They have amended portions of that recommendation. They've gone back to the NIAC to look at um, parts of that recommendation, um, looked at um, whether it's from a, again, based on a technical um, review of the NIAC, the comments, the discussions, the deliberations, and says, well, you know, can, you con can we consider this further? Mm -hmm. Can we elaborate on this further? Maybe they can uh, amend the size of what is presented or the extent of what is presented. So that can, that can happen. People just want to understand, because if I'm not mistaken, uh, this project has gone to consultation at least four times. Um, and so, you know, just trying to understand what's the process like. Right. So, so, so like I said, um, now with the review of the, the recommendation of the review and then recommendation of the NIAC um, last week, then that is presented to the DOE and DOE makes a final determination and then... Is there a timeline by when DOE is supposed to respond? Uh, we try to be very, there's actually there's a 60 day period from the, when the information was submitted, when we have to respond to the developers. Okay. And so we're trying to meet that timeline. We're just around that timeline. And so we're uh, having the technical people work on finalizing that.